In this session, we are going to discuss about vapor phase epitaxy or VPE systems. In vapor phase epitaxy, transport of the elements occurs in the form of volatile species which flow towards the substrate. And these species may be absorbed on the surface of the substrate where they react to form elements of which the, this layer is formed. Elements of which the layer is formed. The surface temperature is high and the species are free to move by surface diffusion into the growth layer. So, vapor phase diffusion in the case of the case of vapor site is called epitaxy. We have to say that we have to say that we have to grow the vapor form. Upon the shingle, it in the case of the shingle, vapor phase epitaxy and under the direct diffusion, vapor phase diffusion in the process of Ariane, in the case of the epitaxial layer grow jay pedanad, okay? And this is the setup for the vapor phase epitaxy. Here, different types of gas species are given nitrogen, hydrogen, HCl, SICL for. H2 and dopant gas and hydrogen gas etc are given as inlet and the wafers are placed in the wafer carrier and ventilation gas is provided. Let us see the explanation. So the source of silicon in vapor phase epitaxy are silicon tetrachloride SACL4. You can see here that silicon tetrachloride react with hydrogen. Okay, and that reaction um, uh, will be given in the silicon tetrachloride reactive with 2H2 gives the silicon plus 4HCl. That means the source of silicon is silicon tetrachloride. So, the source of silicon in vapor phase, sorry, the source of silicon in uh, vapor phase epitaxy is silicon tetrachloride that is SiCl4. Also, sometimes uh, dichlorosilane may be used, trichlorosilane or silane itself may be used. The dichlorosilane, the common reaction is uh, uh, given as SiCl4 plus 2H2. Dichlorosilane is SiH2Cl2, trichlorosilane is SiHCl3, silane is H um, uh, SiH4. We have familiarized with this common in the first module. Okay? These sources are obtained by reaction of SiCl4 with hydrogen at 1200 degrees Celsius. That means the process takes place at a higher temperature, 1200 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. And this reaction is reversible and growth rate depends strongly upon the proportion of the two source gases. That means this reaction may be takes place in the uh, reverse manner also. Mm -hmm. And it depends upon the uh, source of two gases. Okay. We use a horizontal reactor in which the flow of gases is parallel to the surface of the wafers by tilting the slice carrier by 3 to 10 degrees Celsius the gas velocity can be forced to increase as it travels down the chamber that is there is a fall off in the growth rate with the distance the susceptor in this chamber is inducively heating using RF power in the external uh, cold see uh, this is experimental setup. First of all, uh, the setup wafers are placed in a uh, wafer carrier and that wafer carrier uh, um, will be sealed in a um, tube uh, and also that uh, tube is heated uh, to a temperature of high degree temperature 1200 degrees Celsius um, uh, for taking the epitaxial process. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so wafer are placed in a wafer carrier and that wafer carrier is tilted at an angle of 3 to 10 degrees celsius that means wafer or wafer carrier land place either in a 3 to 10 degrees celsius very cherish which in the process in the way that i'm going to in the okay uh, usually gases and the wafer carrier in a parallel light horizontal light and uh, place either in the okay for growing T P type or N type epitaxial layer, the dropant is introduced at uh, at the same time as the silicon tetrachloride during the growth. Gaseous diborane that is B2H6 is used for making P type layer and phosphine that is PH3 or as in ASH3 are used for making N type layers. So, we have the epitaxial layer at P type layer and we have the N type layer and we use the compound, the gas compound. So, B2H6 is a diborane and P type layer and B2H6 is used for N type layer and we have the 
എ എസ് എച്ച് ത്രീ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഫോസ്ഫൈൻ പി എച്ച് ത്രീ എന്നുള്ള കോമൺ ആണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമുക്കറിയാം പി ടൈപ്പ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ബോറോൺ ആണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇമ്പ്യൂരിറ്റി എൻ ടൈപ്പ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഫോസ്ഫറസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ആർസനിക് ആണ് ഇമ്പ്യൂരിറ്റി അതുകൊണ്ട് അതിൻ്റെ ഹോമോൺസ് ആണ് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നത് എപ്പിടാക്സ് എല്ലാർ ഉണ്ടാക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് അത് കണ്ടെയിൻ ചെയ്യുന്ന ഈ ഡോപ്പൻസ് കണ്ടെയിൻ ചെയ്യുന്ന മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് ആണ് നമ്മൾ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഓക്കെ The flow of rates of the total mixer is controlled to obtain the uh, desired doping concentration. To give this atom sufficient mobility for finding their way in the crystal lattice, high temperature is maintained. So, this process is not going to be high temperature maintained and high temperature is not going to be maintained. What is the use of inducively heating using RF power? That is RF power which is heated and heated. This setup is completed and heated. That's all about vapor phase epitaxy. Thank you.